Cuphead's DLC just came out, and as you can see, I have the Platinum Trophy. And I'm about to get the rest of the 14 DLC trophies. I started off the DLC by getting played by the first boss. Oh, we got him! Finally, bro! No way! I thought it was over, it said knockout! Wow, bro. Beating this boss would be very important because I would get two trophies if I could do it. And I had to practice for so long because I could not get used to this guy's attack patterns. Bro, I fell, bro. Oh, this is so annoying. But then I made it to the last phase again. I was not going to make the same mistake as the first time. Okay, knockout, but it's not done. It's not done. Okay, finally! And we get the latest sensation. Defeat a boss with one of Pork Ryan's new weapons. Let's go. Oh, we got alive and kicking as well. Defeat a boss with Miss Chalice. Nice. Now, let me tell you about this trophy called Checkmate. Defeat all of the King of Games champions. You basically have to defeat five total bosses, but you can't shoot. And when I stepped into here, I had no idea what I was doing. What is this? Wait, hold up. What is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even know what's going on. Do I got a parry? Oh my gosh, I'm so dead. What the heck? What makes Miss Chalice different from the other two characters is that she can double jump and her dash is mixed in with the parry. So for these gauntlet bosses I'm about to fight, I have to use the dash in order to damage them. And you know you can parry something if it's pink. So that's why I jump over the ones that are not and parry the ones that are. Bro, this is getting tough. We got it! <laughs> now these are what the second, third, fourth, and fifth bosses look like. We'll skip out on the fights for now because there's actually a trophy where I need to beat all of them consecutively. So we'll revisit these bosses. For now, I had to get the trophy for beating the last one. I see how these work. You gotta make sure you time the cannons too because they don't always face where she's at. Oh, I just got took my first damage. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got her. We got her. And we get checkmate. Defeat all of King Games companion. King Game? King of Games champions. I said companions. What is wrong with me? Now, this boss right here was the last one of Inkwell IO4, which is basically the extra world they added in. And beating him would give me a trophy. Cuphead's bosses have multiple phases, and this one where they toss like this beach ball back and forth or a balloon, whatever it is, this one gave me a ton of trouble. Bro, one HP. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my gosh. What hit me? Oh my gosh. One, one HP left. Uh oh, special. Use it. Come on, kill him. Let's go. We got it just before that thing with that dart was about to hit me. A vacation in the wilds. Defeat every boss in Inqua IO4. Oh, we got a golden touch or the golden touch. Defeat a boss with one of Miss Chalice's super arts. And after beating the final boss, I was going to take on a trophy that would really trigger me. You have to get an A- minus rank or higher on every DLC boss. After you beat a boss, it gives you a grade based upon how well you did in the fight. It takes into account time, HP left, how many times you parried, how many times you used your super attack, and what difficulty you played on. And no, it did not take me 21 minutes to beat a boss. This is a picture off the internet. The only place I ever got a D- minus at was in college. But in order to get an A-, minus, you kind of just want to optimize these categories. For example, in this fight, I had a really good run. It was fast, I did my parries, but I was on 1 HP, so if I lost, I would have to restart. Is that an A minus? I barely won that, please. Okay, under two minutes. Parry, super meter. That gotta be an A minus. Let's go, A minus. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I barely made it out. Now this was one of the most troublesome bosses of the DLC for me. It's the last phase specifically that always gets me. And so I found myself here again, one shot, having to clutch up in order to get this A minus. Come on, come on, please, please, I'm one shot. He's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. It, it's all a fluke. Let's go! We got it, Ranger. Obtain an A minus rank or higher on all bosses. Let's go. And this next trophy would be even harder. Because instead of an A minus, you have to get an S rank on one boss. And it had to be one from the DLC. To get an S rank, you have to not get hit at all, complete the fight fast, and get a perfect run in all the other categories. All while playing on expert difficulty, which bosses have more health and there are a lot more attacks to dodge. As you'll see, I struggled to do this. Like, 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 what? Bro, nah, nah. I'm not doing this boss. He's too hard. He's too hard. I was alternating between bosses because I thought some would be easier than others, but nothing seemed to be working for me. 
Bro, what? Oh my gosh, this is so hard. No! Oh my gosh, if I just didn't take that last damage, bro. A rank, bro. But I came close like that a couple times, so I figured this might be my best boss to get the S rank for. So I kept trying. These are the last two phases of this fight, and so far, I'm on track to get the S rank. If I can complete the rest of the fight without taking damage, we got it. Bro, how much longer is this? Let's go! That has to be cooked to perfection! Get an S rank on a stage! Finally! Oh. Back to the King's Gauntlet we go. Those bosses that I had to beat earlier without shooting, there were five total, and I had to beat all of them consecutively without dying. And this was tough. I can't even comprehend what's going on. I'm one shot. Bro, like, there's so much going on in the screen, and I was so close to beating him. I might die here. Yep. Oh my gosh, bro. It's so tough. But I knew since I had beaten all the bosses before for the other trophy that I can do it consecutively too. Because after each boss, they actually give you full health. This is the first boss, but we already saw this earlier, so let's move on to the next. The second one I think is the easiest out of the five. You just wait for him to attack, dodge, and parry him whenever he's stunned. I've done this hitless, it's no problem. Now this guy actually made me lose my run a few times. Whenever the candles are lit up, you have to walk past them to put them out. Once you put them all out, he turns pink and then you can parry him for damage. All while avoiding touching him and these little teacups or whatever these things are flying around. In the last phase, all the candles are lit up. You have to put them all out and then parry him afterwards. Let's go! And this guy, I also lost a few runs too. He sends out pink heads that you have to parry and send back in his direction to hit him. He also sends out skulls and sparks to watch out for because if those touch you, you take damage. No, bro, it made me dash the wrong way. Let's go, we got him! That's not the trophy yet, apparently. There's still one more. Now, this boss I also showed when I got the checkmate trophy. At this point, I was pretty confident because I don't think it's that hard. I think I actually did this hitless. Let's go, we did it hitless! Oh, there it is. Yeah, we finished it. A king's admiration. The next two trophies weren't too bad, but there was one coming up that would actually be really tough. But for now, I had to beat a boss without killing any of its minions. The best boss for this was this fake Red Dead Redemption 2 boss, because he only summons one minion and it's this bird that flies. And when you put the difficulty to simple, this trophy becomes easy. Oh, we got it. It doesn't have the last phase on this boss on simple difficulty. I clutched up. Let's go. Now, there is a secret boss in the DLC you have to beat for a trophy. After solving a quick puzzle, you get access to it. But this guy really wasn't too difficult. Oh, there we go. A horrible night to have a curse. Let's go. Now, this trophy can debatably be the hardest one out of the whole DLC pack. You have to beat a certain amount of bosses with a certain relic equipped. And that relic makes you one shot for the entire fight. And it also randomizes the weapon you use during the fight. However, what makes it a little bit easier is that you can do some thing where you spin around in a circle and it gives you like one extra health going into the fight. And then if you parry a few times, you can get health back. Now, I saw in a YouTube comment section that the King Dice bosses actually count towards this trophy. And if you don't know, those are kind of like mini bosses they have less health than the actual ones and they're a lot easier to beat so i went straight to those to help me with the trophy Woo, let's go perfect perfect let's go i then went on to beat king dice himself Woo, come on let's go i didn't know the exact amount of bosses you needed to beat in order to get this trophy so i just kept on fighting new ones until i got it we got the special use it just got to finish them off Let's go! We got the Paladin Trophy! <laughs> yes! Yes! These next two trophies were a cakewalk. Defeat 10 bosses as Miss Chalice, which I already had some, so I just needed a few more. Oh, we got it! For this last trophy, all I need to do is have 9 HP at once. If I equip the Twin Hearts Charm, it gives me two additional hit points. Then I spin around in a circle. I already did it, so it pops up like some genie that gives you extra health. Then you step into the King Dice boss fight. On King Dice, there's hearts along the board. As long as you land on the spots, it'll give you extra health. So what I have to do is I have to lose one HP and then gain it back, and it should pop. Make sure to lose one HP, but don't lose any more than that. Okay, he's done. If I roll a one here on this dice, on this die i should get the trophy bro it's moving so fast Ooh. yes <laughs> i got it i rolled it perfectly we got the hardy trophy there you go 100 completion on cuphead now if you've enjoyed this video but you haven't seen my cuphead platinum trophy playthrough press right here on the screen to watch